Hello, friends. My investigation continues and today I will tell you about the collaboration between Infinity Save from Korea and Rosh Gaya from Germany. I want to devote a few video episodes to this investigation because it is a very large and interesting topic. I learned a lot about these projects. I'll be sure to share all the information with you, and at the end you'll find out where Slobodian's installations are now. A bit of history. It all started around 2013 to 2014 when Ross Holding and Gaia Society decided to create a KPP or Kinetic Power Plant project. In 2015, the first KPP in Germany was shown at a presentation. This is a device for generating electricity due to the work of force on pushing barrels out of the water. Or something like that. After the first information, many negative reviews and serious articles on this topic appeared. Despite the criticism, the presentation was held and investors paid impressive amounts for participation in the project. Um, the timestamp will be on the camera, and I'll go and tell you what time it is. It's Hi, Sterling Allen here, PDSN. They just turned on the plexiglass unit. They replaced the uh, module that had burned up, and so it's now running as of 3 o'clock uh, Germany time around at this puzzle, but before that. And uh, this one's on wheels, so obviously has no... Uh Quite a lot of investors participated in the presentation. As far as I know, the company attracted large investments of about 6 to 8 million euros for this project and held many presentations and meetings. But these were only words, they could not get a workable installation. In June 2016, Andrew Slobodian posted a video on YouTube of a very similar installation to Rosh's one. Let's take a look at these videos.
There is no information about this installation on the Infinity Save website. It's weird, isn't it? In March 2017, a report appeared. We are proud and grateful to announce that our cooperation agreement with the Infinity Save group from Korea has started. Just check the public's reaction to this message. Apparently, the cooperation between the crooks was not to develop a water mill. Because over Unity Com forum attendees uncovered Rosh Gaya's fraud already during the presentation. Now it is clear to me that it is just a fake and the power came through the upper support beam during the 10 day demonstration. Also, the hole that was closed again via a freshly welded metal plate in the upper metal beam proves that there was a cable leading to the generator from inside the tube. Read the overunity.com forum if you are interested in the cheating process, there is good evidence there. But the best proof that this doesn't work is Slobodian's device. This aquarium was left on the premises of one of the investors when the inoperability of this unit became clear. The video was shot by a former employee of the company. Several real installations for power generation with KPP have been built. The companies that sell these inoperable units are located in Germany, Mexico, Colombia, Switzerland, Croatia, the Netherlands, South Korea, and Thailand. International Deception In the following videos, I will tell you more interesting details of the collaboration between Andrei E. Slobodian and Robert J. Reich on their generator. How did Andrei E. Slobodian die and where is his generator now? Stay in touch. It will be interesting. Stop. I forgot one more thing. If the website disappears or changes, you can always check the old version on the web archive resource. Now I'm definitely done. Arrivederci.